my matchbox. Uh, sorry, there was no video on Monday because I had to attend some family matters. Uh, there's some bad things going on and I needed to participate, let's say. So, for today, I will do a reaction be uh, of subject, of the idea that uh, that is going on in Europe. Uh, stop destroying games, if I, uh, if I said that right. And um, I'm European, I'm Eastern European. So that is quite important to me. And I want to see, uh, if I understand correctly, I want to see from the uh, from her first hand, uh, because if I understand correctly, this guy uh, is doing some kind of action in that uh, with that idea, doing something. That's good. When people are doing something, is always good. So let's see. What the fuck is going on? Hi, I'm Ross. For the Hi, past Ross. several months, I've been working on a campaign to stop the destruction of video games. See, most video games work indefinitely, and yeah, that's pretty much it. But more and more are being designed to stop working the second support ends from the publisher. A kill switch, essentially. It's a form of plant obsolescence, where publishers are destroying games they've already sold to you, but keeping your money. And this is all preventable. Some people don't understand that. I've compared this before to studios from a century ago burning their own films after they were done showing them to recover the silver content. And now most films of that era are gone forever. That's very similar to what's happening to video games today. It's just a terrible practice for everyone involved. Now most of my efforts have gone towards challenging the legality of this practice in various countries, because it's so consumer hostile, it's not clear if what's going on is even legal. That's still ongoing, but now we have a new option, proposing new law, and for the entire European Union. It took months to get put together and processed, but now we have a European citizens initiative devoted to halting the destruction of video games. You can read it yourself. This would require publishers to leave games they have sold to customers in a working state at the time of shutdown without requiring any further connection to them or affiliated parties. Is it possible to do that uh, with, uh, with, with games that are live service or, or, or online games that is pay to play? for the games to function. How they would do this would be up to them. This would also apply to free-to-play games that contain microtransactions. Because if you purchased a microtransaction as a good, then the game is made unplayable, well then you just lost your goods. This would not require publishers to give up any of their intellectual property rights, give up their source code, though that one would still be nice. It wouldn't require endless support. They can end it any time they want, as far as we're concerned. You wouldn't need to host servers. Though they would have to either patch out that requirement, or else allow- Wait. Require- Require uh, publishers to give intellectual property rights. What the initiative would not do. Oh! Dude, learn to listen, learn to read. I was gearing myself for a rant. That would be good for source code. I don't think so. I don't really think so. I'm not a developer. I'm not a guy, but I think the source code is, if I'm not wrong, the source code is a key to a program. No, I think so. Somebody will explain. I'm not a computer guy in that way. Okay, let's. Okay. How customers to host them privately. Assume any liability for what customers do with their copies of games. 
And finally, nothing about this initiative would have any impact on publisher business practices while the game is being supported. In other words, publishers can continue doing whatever they want as long as you get to keep your game. It amazes me when some people say that's going too far in favor of the consumer. Though to be fair, that's probably not most Europeans. The idea here is we're just trying... I don't think most Euro Europeans gives a fuck. I think even most in, my, um, most in my generation don't give a fuck about video games. Especially in Eastern European. In Eastern Europe. Hmm. Don't know. Don't know. I don't think that... Uh, I have read, by the way, the initiative. I don't think that uh, East uh, uh, Lithuania or most uh, post-Soviet bloc countries uh, uh, will, will, will gather up with the support for this initiative. At, le at least I don't think Lithuania will be the one. Because our country is getting old and most people are old and don't know what kind of dish is most of the game. I mean, they don't know. They uh, Most of the old pe uh, people don't use uh, techn technology properly. They don't play games. They don't give a fuck. I do. Trying to stop games from being destroyed. That's it. So we're taking as narrow an approach as possible that still solves the problem. If we get enough signatures, then this goes before the European Union to be considered as new law. Now, if you're on board with this, you don't have to keep watching. You can go sign it right now. But wait, before you do, you have one chance to do this right. It's not hard, but if you make a mistake, your signature is invalidated and you don't get another chance. We've made guides at StopKillingGames.com on how to do this, just in case. But is this as simple as people sign this? Instructions for dummies. ...so that it becomes law in the EU? Uh, yeah, it might be. Now, it's not a guarantee, but I think if we get the signatures, this passes. Why do I say that? Well, it's a few factors. Politicians like easy wins, and this doesn't require them to do much at all. And unless it involves gambling or protecting children, Politicians generally don't care about video games. So uh-huh. When there's something bad going on, I mean shootings, politicians talk about video games are at fault. And even everyday people, I mean simple people, citizens that I've met, I uh, Every day I talk uh, to a lot of people, so I heard these things. That's not statistically checked, but that's only my opinion and my experience. Most people that I've met, uh, for everything that is wrong with the younger generation, blame video games. I blame parents! Because most parents of my generations are fucked up. So this isn't of big consequence to them or most of their constituencies. EU law is already unclear on a lot of this practice anyway. And we would be... For example, uh, are not... Uh, are already unclear with that. These types of laws, when we are talking about internet, video games, censorship, all that shit. In my country, there are no laws. We are talking about uh precedents if we had a precedent or we mm, we will uh, use the precedent as the example if not uh, the the judges will make a precedent most of the time mm, not in a good way i mean not very good decision we had few um few few things happening with uh, internet and social media in in Lithuania so i'm not i'm kind of not happy we don't have laws we just guessing which decision uh, our 
judicial system is guessing uh, what uh, what decisions will be good uh, when we talk about video games and the uh, social media. That's no, that's uh, in my opinion, that's not how things can go. And this is this initiative is not a guarantee that something like that will happen. So, uh, I mean, that governments uh, and Euro, um, uh, big uh, European government, European Union government, uh, I. I kind of doubt that they will give a fuck. Okay, I want m one more ice cream. Another ice cream for my burning brain and my heating up body. Be making it easy for them to settle it. It falls in line with other consumer practices. You know how when you buy something, you're generally allowed to keep it? And finally, this is a diversion from really serious topics that politicians would prefer not to deal with. This would let them stay busy and avoid hard stuff. In fact, I would bet if we can clear the signature threshold, this passes into law and we solve the problem 90% or more. I say 90% because this would only impact the EU. So if a game was released only in China or Japan, yeah, this wouldn't save those. But most video games are sold globally. And the EU is part of that. Once it's a requirement that comes... By the way, I just thought about that one, in my opinion, one of the reasons that we have this problem right now because we are not having physical copies. Most, we, uh, most games right now, we won't be... Uh, we wouldn't be able to have a physical copy except maybe... Something like um, Nintendo games, I mean, in something like SD card, selling an SD card. That's maybe, would be best way uh, to sell physical copies. Since we, most of the time we are not buying a, 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 a any DVDs or CDs with games on it. So, now most of the games we buy online, we buy on Steam, we buy on Epic Games or other platforms, which kinda, war, kinda becomes the reason why these things are happening. Companies have to let you keep the games they sold to you in a major market like that? Mm. So, how would that work? For example, Steam goes out of business. How would they provide a copy of the game that is not connected to Steam? I installed the game uh, from Steam platform, okay? But I cannot launch the game without Steam. Am I if I'm not mistaken, I didn't try that, but game is connected to Steam. Some of the games I can play offline, but maybe they will, uh, before fully closing off their companies like Steam, fully closing off, they could just let people download the game. In these situations, Pirating comes to save the day, and that uh, and 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 nowadays it especially is is popular with the old games for PC one. We have emulators that saves people like me who want to play old games but don't have the possibility to do that. I don't have. A TV set, I don't have a console. Especially that old of a console. And many of those games that I like to play in of that era won't be remade, won't be won't be remastered. 
because uh, rights for that game belongs to company which doesn't give a fuck. I think it spreads, whether it's the law elsewhere or not. Now, unfortunately, what I would not bet on, because it's a huge unknown, is whether we can pass that signature threshold to begin with. In order for this to work, we need one million signatures across the EU. Though really, it's more than that. Yeah, I've read uh, in the comments down below that we need seven plus countries that uh, uh, goes over the signature threshold. Right? Because some are going to be invalidated because who knows why. So really we need more like 1.2 or 1.3 million signatures. Oh, and it gets worse because you need certain minimum thresholds per country for it to pass. Oh. So say somebody signs it in Greece. Well, then we need almost 15,000 more Greeks to sign it. Otherwise, none of the Greek signatures count. That rule strikes me as rather obtuse and awkward. I almost wonder if the EU took a page from the United States for that one. Anyway, that's a lot of signatures. I might be delusional for attempting this. I don't know yet. Now, the good news is we have one year to get them all. So we will have time. Although I'll say right now, there is no way I can get that many Europeans just for my audience. The only way this works. By the way, is he an uh, American? I don't know. I, this is, I think the first video I ever watched of this guy. My lost, I think. Quite an active guy. Is by opinion. reaching out to European YouTubers and streamers and so on to get on board and non-English speaking ones at that. Now, I'll do my part and promote this the best I can, but I have limited reach. In fact, since I've started Stop Killing Games, I want to say everyone I've reached out to never responded. So me reaching out doesn't work. It's a total failure rate. However, there are two things that did work. One is people reaching out to me, since I respond to a lot. And two is people just covering this on their own. That really worked. Which means if you're watching this, you may be a critical link in all this. Because you can tell other- I don't think so because I don't have reach for this. YouTubers, streamers, etc. about this initiative and maybe they'll pick it up. And again, it's even better if their core audience is non-English speaking. The number of native English speakers in the EU is relatively small. So we need to connect the dots in other languages the best we can. Now, I'm offering myself for interviews, publicity on this issue, whatever, to almost anyone with a European audience of some size. In addition to that, the yeah. official spokesperson and backup yeah. spokesperson for the initiative have offered to speak on this also. And they... They're Eastern European, most, uh, I think, Polish? They are multilingual. And we have a few more official organizers who may be willing to discuss this Mm, from Lithuania we have. Mm, I wonder. It's in other languages as well. These are the people officially in charge. You know, actual Europeans. Yeah, even though I've helped, officially, I'm not a part of this. I'm not eligible. Doesn't matter. Oh, so he's, uh, he's an Amer uh, American. Whatever gets us to the finish line. And speaking of eligibility, it's pretty simple. You need to be a si So we have a guy or a girl in uh, Lithuania. Hmm. I I've heard few streamers from Lithuania that talk about it talked about this, but I don't think that in our country this will reach a lot of people. At least, at least uh, at the rates that it's going uh, is uh, um, going right now because not a lot of people are talking about, at least uh, I what I've seen. And I've only heard this because whole in internet is blowing because um, I haven't seen yet that, but 
uh, I've uh, only uh, I I didn't watch the video, but I just saw that uh, that video exists. Uh, that uh, YouTube uh, content creator and streamer and game developer Thor. Uh, uh, I don't remember pirate software, whatever. Uh, did uh, counter arguments from developer side of things, uh, and then then I will uh, watch that and probably make a reaction, but not in this video. So check that out uh, later, probably. Wait for that. Citizen of an EU country, though you don't have to live there, and you need to be at least voting age. That's it. This also means it's not just you who can sign this, but your friends can sign this. Your family can sign this. Girlfriends, boyfriends can sign this. They all count. Get everybody and tell them to get people to sign too. And yes, it feels weird that I'm an ineligible American campaigning for Europeans to sign a document. But you know what? If it passes, we all win. Yeah, uh, maybe that will... Uh, um give a, a kick in the nuts for other uh, for other countries go read the 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 fuck, hairs all, all over go read the initiative maybe some of people that watch my videos from lithuania will uh, boost the signal maybe i have what two three people from lithuania that watches by the way i don't have a lot of reach but still that works so we just That's have to go to where the openings are. Oh, and if your relatives or whoever don't care about video games, you can explain to them this is also about not losing basic ownership. Like if video games are cars, what's happening now would be like if I sold you a car at full price, then later, and I wouldn't tell you how much later, so it's not a rental, I then came to your house and repossessed your car. But I also kept your money. That is not good business. Or not for the consumer, anyway. Yeah, I guess taking back what you've sold is great for businesses. Maybe that's why the industry is worth more than movies and music combined. I get it. Video games aren't that important to most people. But because of that, they're the canary in the coal mine. What about farm equipment? Education tools? Medical devices? We have already rentals. You do not want this practice spreading to other areas, believe me. That's not gonna happen for, for other things. We already have systems for that. We have rentals for equipment. We have rentals for all, all types of shit. The problem with that, at, uh, I think, will be in the future. For example, like a house or apartment is rent price. That most of people can't rent... Um, I don't know, Americans have that problem with 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 basic wages. They can't rent an apo um, nice apartment. The one thing I want to say is I don't think that uh, yeah, to, uh, that will go to other industries. We already have rentals. Some of you have already done the math and realized we need an average of over 2,700 signatures a day in order to make this work. I'll say right now, we're not going to get that many every day. This stuff happens in waves as big people pick it up. Plenty of days will be below par, but others could be 10 times or higher. So don't write this off too early. Don't be that guy I've seen in team games who gives up at the slightest sign of resistance and calls it game over. We have a year. Who the fuck panics in the beginning? Right now, what? This initiative... Um... A year. So, this initiative is not, uh, does not exist, uh, is existing only for a month right now. 30 seconds into the most match. People I hate most people don't know it exists because of bad advertising. That crap. I think we're at a crossroads. If we can get enough signatures, then I think we end this and change gaming history. Or we can't get our act together and the problem gets worse and worse, then in the future we really don't own anything. And we're charged a lot for not owning anything. Now maybe we get lucky and this is redundant due to all the other legal challenges we have going. But either way, this is it for your chance to save games. 
There's not going to be a round two. If you or someone you know is an EU citizen, you have the power to end this just by signing a form. Though this plan may have a critical weakness and that I'm counting on gamers to care about not seeing their games destroyed. I hope that's not too big an ask. Because years from now, somebody could be saying, yeah, I had the chance to save gaming, but it required me to open up a whole new tab in my browser and fill in my name and a captcha? Oh my God. Uh, so I didn't do it. It was just too much work. It wasn't worth it. If that's the general sentiment among gamers, then yeah, I can't overcome that. Then I'm Don Quixote here fighting windmills. I hope that's not the case. So, uh, yeah, go sign it or tell somebody European about it. For it to work, people need to care at least about games. If they don't, maybe I'm talking uh, because uh, uh, in that way uh, with gaming culture, uh, my country is kind of a shithole. Because most of people in my country is old, are old, and they don't care. I need to read more, few times, because it's hard for me to understand, especially now since I have things, uh, other things to care about. Uh, I will uh, watch a counter arguments, maybe a few... Uh, other videos because I saw uh, a lot of people are talking about uh, uh, Thor's opinions as a developer. Maybe I will watch those, uh, gather some kind of idea of what of what is going on uh, between uh, um, content creators. Uh, my idea is yes, it's a great idea that. Uh, Mm, that people try are trying to find a way to 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 uh, it's a great idea to save games that uh, probably in the future we won't be able to play uh, and we paid money for those that's kind of not right that's not how things should work don't know we should uh, be, before doing rash things we should think about the way uh, maybe consult a little bit with developers we tr should find the way uh, how developers could do that uh, properly uh, we need to find a proper way for developers to bring the game to gamers because how how the fuck they will ensure uh, that cu customer will get that game downloadable. They will need servers to store the game, uh, to sell physical copies. They will need to build an infrastructure that, uh, in my opinion, doesn't really exist now. Uh, there's uh, not a lot of games, even on console, that are sold physically since, I think, PS3. Most of the games are on Game Pass and uh, online platforms like Steam or Epic Games. Some kind of safe way, but developers will have the problem uh, to ensure that people will get the game. That's uh, spending money. And I don't think that they want to do that. Unless uh, they will sell physical copies from the start in a line way, there's a problem because there in uh, to download the game, it needs to be stored somewhere, platform, server, some kind of developers will need to pay for that, especially. Uh, when the developers don't have money and these types of things are not the priority. We need some kind of compromise with that. In, 
I think in every law, there should be an explanation how everything should work. In what way developers uh, give a game uh, to people without hurting themselves? No, no, don't know. I will... Uh, I will do my investigation, which I should do. Before I uh, say uh, say my opinion fully. And when I will try to say my opinion, I probably should write that. Because, as you may see... It's hard for me in these types of situations to explain myself properly. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's, it was not too, um, too complicated to understand me. I, I hope. Now, if you enjoyed my content, don't forget, you can subscribe. Uh, I, I will... Uh, I I will hope I will be able uh, to do videos properly to go back to my schedule. I hope so. Don't know how that will go. So be patient. Uh, I I'm not quitting. I'm just have problems a little bit. So subscribe, comment, say your opinions, say your ideas, and. Uh, I am interested uh, what kind uh, w uh, from where you are watching my content. What kind of country uh, in what kind of country you are living? What I, I, I'm just interesting interested. I'm not stretching this out. Bye, subscribe, comment, countries. Bye.